Today I'm going to talk to you about B-cells with a little help from Cinderella. B-cells play a starring role in our adaptive immunity. It has the ability to defend itself against specific invading antigens. Antigens have the ability to provoke an immune response. On the antigen surface are smaller sections called epitopes. These are the parts that are recognised by the immune system. B-cells develop from B-lymphocytes and originate and mature in the red bone marrow. Before B-cells migrate, they develop immunocompetence. This is the ability to carry out adaptive immune responses. The cell begins to make unique protein receptors that are inserted into its plasma membrane. These are called immunoglobulins. The receptors are needed to recognise individual antigens. When the B-cells are armed with these receptors, they migrate to the lymph nodes of the spleen. This is now their new home where they stay put. Just as they have settled in, an antigen invades the body. Along its way, the antigen encounters many ill-fitting B-cell receptors until it finds its perfect match, not dissimilar to Cinderella and her glass slipper. Just as the slipper fits perfectly onto Cinderella's foot, the epitopes fit perfectly into the B-cell's receptors. When the B-cell has the invader in its grasp, it takes it into the cell via endocytosis. It's broken down into tiny peptide fragments and forms the MH2 complex, which is inserted onto its plasma membrane. Helper T-cells recognise the antigen MH2 complex and come along and deliver the co-stimulation needed for the B-cell to proliferate and differentiate. With this help, the B-cell becomes active and starts to clone and form specialised cells called memory B-cells and effector B-cells. Memory cells are involved in the secondary immune response. If the same antigen enters the body again in the future, thousands of memory cells are available to initiate a quick reaction, destroying the antigen before any signs or symptoms can occur. These cells can last for decades. The effector B-cells, which are called plasma cells, secrete millions of antibodies. These antibodies have exactly the same antigen combining properties as the receptor molecules on the surface of the original B-cell. The antibodies will only combine with the antigen that originally activated the B-cell. The antibodies leave the lymph nodes or the spleen and circulate throughout the body humours. This is where they encounter many other antigens. The antibodies lock on and act in a variety of ways that ultimately leads to the death of the antigens. It's getting close to midnight, so before the clock strikes 12, I'll recap. B cells are key in adaptive immunity. They bind with antigens and proliferate and differentiate into memory B cells and plasma cells. Plasma cells secrete antibodies, which help to ultimately destroy antigens.